from Daryl Vanese. What is the silliest, funniest, most absurd gift that you've ever received? Mine was a plastic reindeer that excreted chocolate chips from the behind, given to me by a distant aunt who thought I was 12, I was 25 at the time. Well, I don't think I've ever gotten anything that silly, Daryl. Um, but um, I think the best gift I ever, ever got from, um, from anybody, now this is not a family gift, the best gifts I ever, ever got are my two grandchildren. Uh, they're the best, and because they last forever, um, was a trip on zero gravity, where you are taken up in an airplane, an empty airplane, way, way, way up into uh, probably around 50,000 feet, and then you drop and you are uh, actually experiencing uh, zero gravity. There's a company that provides this service, and uh, I thought that if um, my uh, grandchild, uh, grandchildren ever get to the to the appropriate age, I think you have to be 12 to go up in this, I will give them that as their birthday present. It was phenomenal. Doing somersaults and backflips and everything in zero gravity, things that you could never do on Earth. Uh, it's a great experience. Veta Lavina, what are some of your favorite Christmas dinner hostess gifts? Um, gifts that you've received or have given? Well, I always like to give something homemade or homegrown. So I will give um, a dozen beautiful eggs in a beautiful container, a, a bread basket or a, um, or a um, bowl of some sort, um, maybe nestle the eggs in some graffia or some uh, grass, uh, and, things that I, and things that I bake, uh, cookies, a special cake, uh, coffee cake, everyone loves getting the Struzel coffee cake from our cakes book because they can have that for a couple of days uh, of breakfasts. It's really nice. And things that I've gotten, uh, well, I love getting aprons, chef's kind of aprons. I like getting dish towels. I use a lot of dish towels, as you can imagine, and I, I like those. Uh, and I also like a really good bottle of wine because uh, I just add it to my wine cellar, my wine collection, and uh, open it for a special dinner or occasion. Sparky Lerna asks, what is your most memorable homemade gift you ever received? Well, when Alexis was weaving, she gave me a whole set of uh, woven placemats that she had done on her loom. And another gift she gave me was an overshot cover that I still have in beige and white wool. Most beautiful, complicated design. Um, very beautiful and hard to make, so I cherish, I cherish those. Uh, really great artisanal kinds of craft gifts that people um, come up with. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I get this Christmas. Uh, Candace asks, what do you have uh, for giving to a couple? Oh, well, as I said uh, before, um, I think it would be great to give them a set of flannel sheets, nice and cozy in the bed. Uh, make sure you have the right size bed. Um, I would also think of um, matching uh, Blanket throws, very, very nice for a couple so that they, when they're cuddled up watching TV, they can uh, cover themselves with their own individual blanket. Uh, Melissa Hall says, hey Martha, it is the season for baking. It sure is. I love your cookbooks, especially the one you autographed for me when I was at your home in Westport. Uh, what's our next book? Well, our last book was Cakes. Just came out this past uh, September. If you haven't gotten that book yet, please do great, great cake recipes. And it's um, the fourth in a series of baking. We had cupcakes, cookies, pies and tarts, and now cakes. That whole set is an excellent gift.